Hey guys, so today we are going to learn how to use Onshape, which is the new um, online cloud-based CAD program that we use at the college. So to start with, we're going to have to search up the word Onshape. We're going to click on this one here of onshape.com. It'll take us to this page here where we're then going to click on students and educators, get Onshape for education. It'll come up with this page here obviously you're not an educator so we're going to click on sign up it's going to give you this um, box here you're going to go through fill all that out and then say create edu account after that it'll take you to a page that looks like i'll just sign in it will take you to a page that looks similar to this. Yours will be completely blank. There will be nothing here. Um, your teacher may ask you to do a program from the Learning Centre that you will find up here at the top right here. So if we were to click on that, it takes you to this page here once it loads. taking its time and there's a whole lot of different options most of the time you'll be in self-paced courses for now though I'll show you how to actually get in and start creating your own um, documents so to start with at the top left here we have create and there's both document and folder I recommend starting by creating a folder of whatever project you are making that way any part file that you create can go straight into that folder. Um, so once you've done that, you can then click on document. It'll come up like this. I'm just gonna put in test as mine, but this is the name of your, um, your part. So it may be um, one part of a multiple of parts going together to create an assembly. Um, so make sure you label it that way. I'm gonna say okay, it'll come up with eventually this page here which has got three different bits in the middle once it loads these three things here so you got front top and right so that is your third angle projection um, as you probably will have seen in a 2d drawing so um, to start with most of your drawings are going to be um, started on the front plane and then you're able to extrude and remove and add to from that view. So if we click on sketch at the top left and then click on the front plane, that has now created this sketch one on the front plane. So if we now press the letter N on your keyboard, that will give you the normal view as it um, refers to. And that just means that we're now looking at it directly on. To create any sketch, we must always start at this point right here, which is called the origin point. If we do not start from there, any dimensions that we add um, and our drawings that we complete will not be um, correctly um, completed um, and therefore um, the constraints won't work and all that sort of stuff. So make sure anything that you start comes from this point here. Right at the top, we've got a line, a corner rectangle, and a center point circle. You'll notice next to each one of those, it gives you a letter that you're able to use as a shortcut. So for example, line, you could either click on that, or you could, click, you could just type the letter L on your keyboard, and you'll notice that the cursor there changes from normal cursor to the line. Now, as long as we start from that point there, we can draw our line However we would like, you'll see there that it locked in to be in line with that there. Now this shaded view tells us that we have a um, fully enclosed shape. So that there is fully enclosed and we're able to dimension it from there. Um, if you were to create a rectangle, which is up here, or the letter G, again, making sure you start from that origin point, you can, um, Click out and notice how this box here is white. You're now able to type in a measurement that you would like. Let's do 50. And then if you hit enter, 
The next dimension down the bottom will also turn white and you're then able to put in your dimension. Now, it's important to note here that in tech, we always use millimeters. So up the top here next to your name, if you were to click on this, you've got workspace units and you must make sure that the default length unit is in millimeters. Most of the time it will be in inches and that is American and it will create all sorts of dramas for you and your sketches. So make sure that you're in millimeters, please. Um, after that, um, obviously the circle was up there as well. We're then able to extrude. Extruding is creating a 2D shape into a 3D shape. So at the moment, this is basically just like drawing a square on a piece of paper. So we've clicked on extrude or you've got shift E as your shortcut. You can then click on one of the shapes that you would like. And then here is how big or how deep we would like to make it. So in this instance, we're just going to use the 25 that's already there. And then we're going to click. So over here, we've got our view cube as well. You can use that to change what view you're looking at. So this is now in our orthographic view, so we can see it in 3D. We've got our front, our top, and our side view. Um, if we wanted to now remove something from this, we can say sketch. We're going to click on the face that we want to remove it from. I'm just going to use the front face again, and then I'm going to click on the letter N to create that normal view, and I'm going to create a circle through the middle like that. Now let's make it a 20 mil circle. Now see how it's blue? That means that it is not fully um, defined and it needs a dimension to tell us whereabouts in this square our circle needs to be. So right up here, we've got this dimension one or the letter D. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna click from the top here to the middle of our dot and come out to the side. Now we made a 50 mil square, so half of that would be 25 if we want this in the middle. And now we're gonna do the same thing from this line to this line and come up and make that 25. And you'll see that that circle is now black, meaning that it is fully defined, fully constrained. So what we're now gonna do is we're gonna select extrude. And it is it has selected that circle already for us and up here we're going to say remove. Now if we change to the um, orthographic we can see that it's going all the way through. It's at 25 mil which is exactly what we made. If we click tick we've now got a square with a hole in it. Now if you wanted to rename this instead of for example test if you wanted to rename this part um, you could quite easily just click up where it says the name and let's put in square with a hole in it. Hit enter and now that's saved. So this does automatically save. That's that's worth remembering. That just about does it for our introduction to Onshape. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you ask your teacher and I'm sure that there will be more videos explaining more in-depth aspects of Onshape as we go along. Thank you.